Because you know, this is one area where, as far as the country and as far as, in, as, as, far as Andhra Pradesh goes, it's purely we buy power and we sell it to the industries. This is the sector what gives us money. We speak should be self sustained. If these models crumble, then we have a problem. And that's exactly what I did, what I addressed when I spoke about those power purchase. Uh, everyone said I just spoke about. But in detail, I will explain to you in case there is any, in case there are any questions pertaining to it. But I just have our uh, chief, special chief secretary, Mr. Ramesh, just run through the uh, presentation so that so that you just have a glimpse of the state. What's happening around me? So one one day. Maybe I've uh, just finished my street, uh, street school, which means it's literally on the street. Uh, in a t small town called Ongol, my father shifted to, I mean, uh, transferred to another small town. So they put me to another school, which is definitely a better school than what I used to study there, where I had studied earlier. So in that school, one day we had a lesson. My teacher was telling about, in uh, the class, the lesson's name is Ma Buddy. It means our school. The lesson explains how beautiful our school is and what kind of school it is. And we have such beautiful trees, we have a huge playground, and we have a lot of things to play. We have a beautiful library, we have this kind of books. So it goes on, goes on. And suddenly my teacher turned because I said something to my friend and everyone was giggling. And I said, Kalyan, get up. I said, what were you saying? And I said, I had a doubt and I was sharing with this guy. I said, what is it? I said, uh, our school doesn't have a playground and we don't have books and uh, we don't have any trees. And for me, what the teacher did, she told me to get up and she gave me the beating of my life. Till now I could never forget that. Because for me, the first time I realized in my life what had been written in the books, what had been said in the uh, in spoken word and the reality are two different things. So for me that has become a lifetime obsession to see the gap between what has been said and what has been done. That has become a lifetime obsession. So till now my obsession is even in the political manifesto it's still not manifest. What they promise and what, the, what they deliver are two different things. So for that reason, it has become such an obsession to me, I lost my focus in my education. Constantly I used to see issues everywhere, problems everywhere. So successfully, I failed in my exams. <laughs> True. <laughs> I successfully failed in my exams, so I could not continue my education. So I had to stop. So one day, the reason was, I was so stressed out, and everyone, all my friends were going to for, for universities in America and they were doing good things. And here I've been uh, failing, uh, I failed in 10th grade, I failed in 11th grade, I failed in 12th grade. I was consistently, I was, in, uh, I was failing. I went into some kind of depression and I wanted to commit suicide. Because for me, it was such a painful situation here. I could see pain and problems everywhere, and my focus is not on the education, on the social ills. So I thought of one day, thought of committing suicide. My brother, I think most of you know that my brother is also an actor, <laughs> and uh, he had a licensed pistol. Yeah. So I thought of uh, taking his pistol, I want to kill myself for the humiliation, for I'm not able to live up what my promise, of, what my parents had taught of me to become something. That was a pain I had. So luckily someone, I said to my, one of my family members and they hold me somewhere, they counseled me and they somehow, I could not go ahead with that. So, and later I had given up my education and somehow I started uh, doing whatever I could do. Maybe I was experimenting with my life after that. I went into a different kind of uh, education. I mean, I did my computers and I went into yoga. I did a lot of martial arts and everything. I was continuing like that. 
for me, as we all know that, every individual is a product of his time and environment. This was my environment I grew up. So finally, what annoyed me or what irritated me was to come into politics after being an actor. For me, to get into acting in the first place, I was not at all interested in acting. I wanted to be a yogi. And because for me, I was I completely be, uh, wanted to be away from this materialistic life. I want to, uh, I was deeply in yoga. I was doing a lot of meditations for a few hours. And I used to give a lot of nice spiritual lectures to everyone in my family. <laughs> yeah. So what my, <laughs> one day my brother was a, quite a hard worker. And he used to work day and night. He used to come home completely tired. Here I said, I, tell, I used to tell him what life is all about, how we should be detached. <laughs> One day he was so irritated with me, and he said, idiot. Yeah, he called me idiot. <laughs> Whatever you say, I agree with you. Can you be the same guy and same person, even after being something, after making, after creating something, after getting into something, make something concrete, and uh, achieving something. Could you be the same thing? Then I listened to you. I said. And that was an awakening to me. So it took me some time. Now I suddenly, life is right in front of me. I don't know this. I missed my education. I missed everything possible. The only opportunity I had was acting. And you have to understand me, I'm, a, I'm quite shy. And even now, if I have to go to shoot, I will never go straight. I always say, go like this, go, go. <laughs> I go from a corner and go, and secretly, like first shot, I always I get into in a discreet manner. Then I feel comfortable. So imagine my plight, few, when, I, when I had started, I was shy, and finally, out of necessity, I had to come out of my own shackles. So what I did, so finally after becoming an actor, so what my whole passion was, all through my childhood, I was studying society. I was studying things around me. At one point of time in my childhood, because before uh, I was consistently, what well, the reasons why I was failing was, I could see a lot of issues, a lot of injustice happening around me. I wanted to uh, get into some kind of extremist outfits like uh, Naxalites and all. My brother was uh, very worried about, about my future. He doesn't know how to control me. He thought if I would buy him a gun, maybe he will... Uh, confine himself not to go into this kind of extremist outfits, but my problem was not about extremity, not, not about uh, go, getting into Naxalites or radicals. For me, my problem was how to address these issues. Because for me, I had always seen law, Indian law, any, any situation, gross injustice ha happens, the law is applied weakly to the strong and strongly to the weak. That's the problem of our country. Entendi, video nachinda, I te o like ves kondi. Le dante o comment chendi. Yapadi kapuru ma videos chudalante, subscribe ches kondi.